Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Dubé. I'm here to talk to you today about overpronation, its symptoms, the underlying cause, and the benefits of different treatment options. The symptom of overpronation, also called flat feet, is the collapse of the arches during weight-bearing activities that result in ankles that are prone to easy sprains, excessive torsion at the knees, hips, and pelvis that become incapable of symmetrical function. Pronation is the natural movement that occurs when our ankles roll inward and the soles of our feet face outwards. Symptoms can occur at any point within the kinetic chain as the result of specific activities, overuse, or repetitive strain from normal activities. By the time an individual is aware of overpronation, a cascade of musculoskeletal dysfunction will have affected the entire kinetic chain. What causes overpronation? Overpronation is caused by poor or maladapted neuromuscular function that has been conditioned by footwear use. Many consider overpronation to be the cause of most foot-related issues. Some healthcare professionals even believe that overpronation is a permanent condition. In most cases, overpronation is neither genetic nor permanent. For proper function, our feet require right stimulus and the right movement. Right stimulus consists of the subtle varied stimulus that the soles of our feet receive when we walk, especially when we walk barefoot on natural terrain. With each step, there are subtly different sensations. These subtle differences in stimulus keep our brain on high alert so that our body's protective reflexes function properly with optimal muscle function. When our brain is uncertain about what will happen, it triggers protective reflex muscle activations that support our arches even before our feet contact the ground to ensure that our feet and legs can safely manage the forces generated by the activity intensity of our bodies. As activity-related stimulus intensifies, a progressively higher arch is created. That's why when they're functioning properly, our arches and toes rise and fall dynamically in response to the varying activity stimulus intensities. This uninhibited dynamic movement is right movement. Right stimulus and right movement prevent the imbalanced muscle function that contributes to collapsing arches that cause overpronation. Conventional footwear impairs optimal foot function in two ways. First, most conventional footwear dampens right stimulus. This is particularly true for shoes or insoles that support or cushion our feet. They spread the forces evenly across the soles of our feet, creating sensory input that's muted and repetitive, step after step. Within a short period of time, our brain simply tunes out the stimulus and stops responding to it. As a result, our brain doesn't sufficiently activate the muscles that stabilize our arches and properly align our feet, legs, hips, and lower back before our feet contact the ground. This tuned out brain response is actually quite natural and happens all the time. The same thing happens when we walk into a room and first smell coffee and then after a few minutes we don't notice the smell at all. Second, most conventional footwear, especially footwear that's tightly laced, has snug toe boxes or stiff midsoles or outsoles, restricting the right movement dynamic raising of the arches and toes that's so critical in the creation of a strong, stable arch system and healthy propulsion with the toe-off forces spread across the forefoot. Impaired right stimulus and right movement lead to poorly maintained, unstable or absent arches that cause overpronation. Conventional treatment methods for overpronation include the following heel wedges, supportive products such as orthotics, taping or bracing, and therapeutic exercise. Now while these methods may temporarily alleviate symptoms, they don't address the poor neuromuscular function that is the cause of the problem. In fact, the more we artificially support or cushion our feet, the weaker and the more dependent we become on these types of products. Now, these old-school support and cushioning treatment methods 
are actually not recommended in any other area of musculoskeletal medicine as a viable long-term treatment option. In fact, today's modern treatment methods for poor neuromuscular function focus on increasing mobility, muscle strength, and proper alignment via proper technique exercise, which requires both right stimulus and right movement. Science has shown that simply challenging the body to do its job is the best way to restore and enhance function. This principle is the foundation for virtually all of today's sports training and rehabilitation programs. To address the poor neuromuscular function that causes overpronation and prevents it from recurring, I recommend the following. Walking barefoot on natural terrain as much as possible. This provides the optimal right stimulus and allows for the right movement required for healthy neuromuscular function. To obtain right stimulus in your conventional footwear, use Biopod Stim Soles. For best results in conventional footwear, use Biopod Stim Soles in loosely laced, soft, flexible footwear that allows your arches and toes to rise easily. For optimal neuromuscular function while wearing shoes, use Biopods footwear, which are specifically designed to provide the right stimulus and facilitate the right movement that optimize and encourage healthy foot, leg, hip, and back function. Remember, consult with your healthcare practitioner and ask them about employing soft tissue mobilization therapies to address the fibrotic scar tissue that may have formed in the past.